This is Stephen Wilkowski from Christian Music Music N N Network, and we're here with Bill Itzel from the Itzels. So how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, Stephen. It's uh, it's great to be here on the Christian Music Network. Yes, 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 yes. So so tell me about yourself. Well, well, uh, for the last uh, thirty three years, I've been in. Uh, full-time Christian music ministry. Actually, for me, it's been 35 years. Uh, and uh, we've been uh, together as a family for 33 years. It all started uh, uh, singing full-time with a group called the Spear Family back in uh, 1988. It was a Southern gospel group based out of Nashville, Tennessee. I was uh, 19 years old and uh, was touring with them uh, for about two years, then I got married, and uh, we started this ministry, and we're still still doing what we've always done. Great, 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 great. So, 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 how did everything get started? You know, with you in music, were you always interested in music? Or? Well, yeah, my uh, I started out. Uh, I guess hearing music from from the time I was born, my dad was uh, with Youth for Christ. Uh, he would wow. play uh, accordion with a group called the Royal Airs. Okay. Uh, two trumpets, a trombone, and an accordion, a very odd ensemble. but uh, <laughs> but they uh, they had a wonderful sound and they and I grew up uh, sleeping through their practices uh, at my my grandmother's house. and then, uh, my uh, mother as well was a singer and uh, she sang for a lot of youth for christ events as well uh, with her family uh, they had a kind of an acapella uh, ladies trio uh, uh, called the hauk family trio so i i grew up hearing harmony i grew up hearing music my dad was the worship leader at our church so yeah uh, i i was always around music i guess probably the first time i uh I sang in church and actually uh, stood up in front of people. I did a duet, I remember, uh, with my my mom at our church. And uh, and it, from there, I just uh, would sing in my dad's choir. I organized uh, uh, duets and trios and quartets and and uh, and continued to, uh, uh, sing in our church, sing in uh, places like uh, local missions, helping up mission, the Baltimore Rescue Mission. Uh, Aberdeen at the time had a serviceman center that would have a Saturday night uh, uh, sing and uh, and and service, and we would go up there and sing usually once a month. So I was always around music growing up in high school. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to sing and sing and sing and. And when I wasn't singing, we were practicing, and uh, I was writing, writing music, uh, and most of it was uh, pretty terrible, but, <laughs> but you know, it's practice. So, uh, so then uh, throughout high school, that's what I did. Um, and then I went to two years of uh, Bible college, and during the summer, in between semesters, um, Back in 1988, my parents uh, scraped together some money to send me to a two-week singing uh, singing camp, a music camp down in Nashville, Tennessee, called the uh, Stamps Baxter School of Music. I believe it's still going. I'm not sure. Um, it, it was for a while. Uh, but there was a group called the Spear Family that ran the Stamps Baxter School, and it the the timing and God's providence was just uh, absolutely perfect. But that's the story of my life. That's the story of all of our lives. And uh, he put me in the right place at the right time. Uh, they had just formed a new uh, uh, record company called Homeland, and uh, Homeland was looking to revitalize the Spear family uh, for the second time. Uh, the Spears have been around since 1921, clearly before wow. either of us were, <laughs> wow. were born. Um, but uh, and the, the, there was that generation. Uh, the mom and dad Spear passed away back in the 60s. And then there was a kind of a second generation uh, of the Spears that went till 1988. And then 
they wanted to revamp the spears, make new spears, bring in uh, some some new young people to be with the older people. And uh, they heard me sing. It was interesting. Uh, I had I had heard of the Spears. I was not a giant fan of the Spears. I knew a couple of their songs. I had a couple of their old records, but never really played them. I was much more of a fan of the uh, the, the the four part harmony quartets, uh, Cathedrals, Gold City. Loved the Kingsmen. Um, yeah. So when the Spears were were interested in uh, in trying me out, I, I found that out, and uh, they told me they gave me a cassette tape. And it was their latest. It was called Celebration at Sea. It was uh, a live album. And they asked me to pick out the tenor part and learn all the tenor parts. And then uh, the next day, we would have our uh, our tryout. So I had to learn the whole, the whole, I had to pick out the, the parts. Uh, there was a guy named Steve Hurst. He was my vocal coach at the time. Uh, and he and I kind of sat down and picked out some of the more difficult parts. And then throughout the night, got a little bit of sleep, very little bit of sleep that night. And uh, but I stayed up and uh, practiced the parts. And I went in there and I had the entire CD, uh, the, the entire cassette memorized. So they were, I think, impressed by that. Um, I'd always had the ability to blend voices that didn't necessarily blend. Uh, so I went in there and immediately blended with them. And I think uh, on Steve Hurst's uh, recommendation, they they hired me pretty much on the spot. And uh, and I toured with them for for two wonderful years. We had a couple of Grammy nominations, a couple of Dove nominations, uh, a couple of number one songs, which uh, was you know really great. It was a very exciting two years for a kid who had never been in, in any kind of business, let alone the, uh, that kind of music business. And so, um, so that's, uh, that's kind of where I got my start. Awesome. 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 Uh, you had the song called, uh, Christ is Swear. Tell me, tell me about that. Well, yeah, we've been, uh, <clears throat> we have been, uh, like I say, singing now as a family for 33 years. And we have, of course, we've had children. Um, it seems every 10 years we'll have more children. <laughs> That's just the way it is. We have uh, a daughter who's 30, a son who's 28, another daughter who's 20, and another daughter who's nine. So we have these different <laughs> uh, groups. So as, as our kids grew into the ministry, it became a part of our ministry, uh, our sound obviously changed uh my son plays drums and sings and my daughter plays electric guitar and sings uh so when we first started we were more southern gospel because i was coming out of the spears uh then we moved more contemporary uh then back to gospel for a little while and then uh, in the 2000s we went much more contemporary even a little more uh, rock or uh, rock oriented in the in the late 2000s um, and then around 2015, we were looking for something different, uh, a change. My son and daughter had both left, gotten married or in their own ministries, uh, now. Uh, so our other daughter, who is a, just a fantastic singer, um, her name is Shannon. She, uh, she started singing with us and we had more of a, a real tight trio harmony. And so... Uh, we were looking for a, a, a sound that, that would fit that very well. Um, I didn't want to go back totally to my Southern gospel roots, uh, but I went down in, in 2015, uh, 2016 to, uh, to Nashville, to, uh, to, I'm sorry, to uh, North Carolina, to Asheville, uh, where we were recording tracks. And I was in the studio, Roger Talley does all of our uh, tracks. So I was in the studio with Roger, uh, and I never go to the studio. Uh, he'll tell you for for the 25 years he's been doing our tracks, I've been in the studio with him one time, and okay. this was the time. Uh, but I just decided to go down there and and watch them record. And I was uh, watching this guy named David Johnson. He was playing acoustic, but surrounding him in his little 
cage that, that that it was his little box that he was playing in was like a a, a fiddle a steel guitar mandolin dobro all these other instruments and i said does he play all those instruments and roger said oh, oh yeah yeah he, he can play any of them so wow. so i said well why don't we throw some of these things in there Sure. And I had, I mean, I had our music up to that point had been as far removed from a banjo as you could possibly imagine. I mean, we were very electric guitar oriented. And I said, you know what, let's use electric guitars and banjo. We were doing a song called uh, uh, Because You Love Me. And I said, let's let's throw in banjo and then we'll hit with the electric guitars in the chorus. And he said, this is really strange. And I'm like, well, let's let, let's try it. So for that whole album, it, we kind of moved more, a little more country. P people said it was kind of like the Itzels at Cracker Barrel. Okay. And so, <laughs> <laughs> and so, so that really clicked with uh, our audience. So we, we did several albums in this new album. Uh, getting back to your, your question, your introduction, just a little setup. Uh, we wanted to do something uh, even more Christian country. Um, and that's where this album is. And uh, we had just gone to a new church, a uh, fantastic church. I'm going to give them a plug, Belcroft Bible Church. If you live anywhere near Bowie, Maryland, you need to go to Belcroft Bible Church. Um, the, the word of God is preached there. The word of God is central there. Wonderful. And we were, uh, I, I met uh, another guy who was one of the worship leaders there. There are four of us now. Uh, who take different weeks uh, to lead the the praise team. And his name is uh, Morgan. And Morgan uh, came to me and uh, he he sent me the, this this link to a song that he had written. And I, the first time I listened to it, I thought, uh, man, that is catchy. It was his uh, and 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 theological because he was a, a he's a very good writer. and uh, the the lyrics were theological. They were very pinpoint, which is uh, something that a lot of writers don't do. They write very broad and kind yeah. of in cliches. Uh, he wrote very, very, you know, ha had a specific uh, point in mind, and that's what uh, what this song was. So I I kind of worked the, the lyrics a little bit, and I added a chorus. And to be honest, I think this is like one of the catchiest songs that we have ever recorded um our church sings it as a as a worship song i hope many more will um but a, a lot of people love it but it's from our it's from our newest cd called sweeter and the song is called christ is sweeter yeah yeah it, it just it just uh fits into to 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 a lot of churches worship you know you know you know yeah it'll just slide right in there you know it's just it's very, it's very oh, singable. Really, really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah very yeah, catchy, yeah. very, very singable, and uh, and the the theology is uh, is is just excellent. It's all about less of me, more of Christ, and uh, that's you know, and and then when when you live that way, when you live with your focus on Christ. Just no matter what kind of uh, problems and things come into your life, uh, you have a peace that 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 you can't find anywhere else, and it's uh, and literally Christ is sweeter. You know, uh, he as the days go by, Christ yeah. is sweeter. He will satisfy. Uh, as the world grows bitter, and boy, we are seeing that more and more and more as uh, just even the last couple of years. Um, you know, as that uh, as we see that we see in contrast, Christ is sweeter, and uh, so yeah, yeah, it's a very timely song. You know, you just thank you, thank you, really good. So, uh, you you also have a song called "The Gift of Faith." Tell me about that. So. Well, "Gift of Faith" is interesting. Um, we were we were at a church. Uh, I was actually the the worship leader at a at a different church um from 2017 to 2019 that was i guess about as polar opposite to the church we're at now okay uh, <laughs> then <laughs> and uh I, I honestly i'm very surprised that they even hired me uh because wow. theologically we were not really on the same page 
Mm. Um, and uh, and one of the areas that we we clashed at probably the biggest area that, that we clashed in was uh uh was the area of God's sovereignty um uh in in all things but uh, but specifically God's sovereignty and salvation um, sure. like RC Sproul says you know there's not one random molecule uh if God is not sovereign God is not God yeah you know, exactly. that's a, that that's who God is. So, um, you know, and one of the, the questions was, uh, where does the faith that we have come from? Mm -hmm. uh, for by grace, you are saved through faith. And that is not of yourselves. It's exactly. a gift of God. So um, I felt that that was very clear, uh, <laughs> very obvious. So I wanted to write a song that... Um, that not only said that, but said it in a way where literally every single line of that song could be just came right from scripture. You know, that, that you could you could reference, you know, every single line of that song. And yeah. so um, so that was, you know, that's where Gift of Faith came from. Um just as a way of saying, you know, uh, throwing down the gauntlet saying, hey, here is here's what I believe. But it doesn't really even matter what I believe, because it is what the word of God says. Exactly. Uh, I wanted to write it in a way that no one could uh, could debate because right. literally it's straight from Scripture. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's straight from a, a ton of scriptures, but it is. Uh, you know, it, it takes the whole of scripture on that topic of, of faith being a gift from God, how salvation works. And, uh, and so that's, uh, that, that was a gift of faith. We recorded that, uh, back in, I'm wanting to say 20, 2018, maybe. Yeah. 2018. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's, it, it's very, theological song you know it's 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 something that 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 gets stand upon you know you know absolutely yeah and, and i just love songs <laughs> when you that's right from 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 god's word you right know? we even have we uh, if you go to our website uh itzelmusic.com uh there is a link uh, there's a page on there uh of um uh, of song Bible studies. I'm not sure what, sure. what it's actually called, but it's uh, it, where I take several of our songs and I break the lyrics down and put uh, the scriptures for that. And that's one, uh, I have it right here, but that's one that, that I, this is a song that I did that with. And, uh, you know, if anybody likes the lyrics and, and wants to, uh, it'll be a nice Bible study some, some morning just to, to, to read through yeah, that. Sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. When I was, Young in faith, you know, where we have we, of course, back then was albums and tapes, you know, so, mm -hmm. so, 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 not only will, will I be, be reading the lyrics, but they also have scripture references. Yep. And, yeah. And, and that's how I learned, you know, you know, you have right. scripture references. And Petra used to do that. And, 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 and I mean, after, I got saved. I got saved in '83, so it was mm -hmm. not really 1984 when I start reading the Bible. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 Uh, Christians need to be in the Word now more than ever. Exactly. Because uh, we need we need to have that foundation. We need to be prepared. We need to be somewhere where the preaching of the Word is going to be prominent in the church, uh, yeah. because uh, there is a separation going on. Uh, almost like the sheep and the goats, definitely, uh, definitely. not as much as when Christ comes, but there, but society is beginning to do that, especially here in Maryland, in, in America, where you're starting to see people who kind of are on, on the, the outside boundary of Christianity. They've come yeah. to church, they've listened, 
to preaching. They've hung out there because that's where their business contacts are. They're kind of cultural Christians, sure. but they've, they're not really convictional Christians. And those people in many ways through, uh, through the, the secularization of America, through COVIDization of America, have mm -hmm. kind of fallen away uh, from churches. And the people that are going now are, are generally going because they have that conviction in their heart. And uh, you're starting to see America that's been a bubble for a long time, uh, for, you know, 225 years, sure. this, this kind of safety bubble um, start to burst. And right. we're starting to get back to what the norm of the church age has always been, where there's been persecution. And, yeah. um, and if we're not, we're not well grounded in God's word, in the truth of God's word, uh, we're going to be, we're going to be in some serious trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be pretty much swept away. Yeah, right. you know, well, and many are many are tossed about by every wind of doctrine. Yep, exactly. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. Being, you know, yeah, yeah. Even even though the word God says, you know, even the the elect will be deceived. You know. That's right. Yeah. So so we need to know what's in God's word and read it and study it and you know, yeah. So and live it. Absolutely. Live, yeah. live it. Exactly. 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 That's it. Yep. Yep. That's yep. what faith's all about. Yep. Yep. Uh you have a song called Finish Strong. Tell me about yep. that. Well, Finish Strong is a strong is a strong is a song that I did not write. Uh it is a, actually a cover song, and we, we do a few of those. Mm -hmm. um, especially worship songs. If there's some worship songs by groups like, say, the Gettys or Sovereign Grace, um, that are that are very, very good theological songs that we want to lead worship with. Sure, uh, we've recorded several of those in the last uh, four or five years. Uh, this is a different kind of one. It's by, it was uh, written and recorded by a group called Jackson Heights, okay. uh, and they are very uh, Christian country. Uh, they used to be back in the 1980s. They were the Dixie Melody Boys. Really? Uh, yeah, they were for for a few years. The Dixie Melody Boys went uh, from Southern gospel roots, went into you know full on Christian country. Uh, I loved what they did. Most Southern gospel fans did not. Uh, so they sort of right, disappeared, right. Um, and uh, and they they went back Southern gospel. Uh, but the but the guys got together and uh, I think for a reunion show a few years back and uh, people like me loved it and there were other people that loved it. And so they've recorded uh, two or three albums now. And uh, this was one that was on their last album. And I, I just loved it because of some of the things that we were going through and some of the things we were heading into. Uh, I felt like it, it was really my my testimony so i i went and we, we went ahead and recorded it uh and it fit with the christian country uh style of the new album um but we were we have been in the last two years through some some real trials uh in our lives it's been good i wouldn't trade them for anything uh my wife was on a ventilator for 17 days with covid back in wow. uh early 2021 it was very, very touch and go for a while. She was flown shock trauma to uh, from uh, from Carroll Hospital to University of Maryland in the middle of the night. Uh, just, I mean, it was that th there were some serious uh, things. She's she still has some complications of long COVID. Sure, uh, praise the Lord, she's able to sing, to still sing. Um, we we lost my mom back in uh, in. Uh, summer late summer of last year as well uh three days before easter i had a heart attack right yeah wow in the so i i drove myself to the hospital uh i was on it was only two more blocks i was on my way yeah. somewhere and uh it just just wasn't feeling right and so but god brought me through that wow. uh so but during these things these times we wanted to uh, we realized time is short. Sure. You know, um, and we realized this is, you know, we, we don't know how many days we have. 
but the days we have are the days that we can lay up treasures in heaven. Mm, right. And yeah. Once we're dead, then, you know, then that's done. This is our opportunity right now. This is why we're here. And so even though we were still singing, um, we were go going on mission trips, we were still singing on uh, weekends. I'm like, I, I, I need to do more there. are You know, I don't want to waste any day. Sure. So um, I want to finish strong, like the song says. So uh, I decided I'm going to go out. And I know this sounds very, uh, very, very 1700s, uh, but I'm just going to go out and I'm going to preach on the streets. I'm just going to go out and talk to people. I'm going to have conversations. And, yeah. uh, and that's what I did. We, uh, my son and I came up with a, with a gospel track that we, uh, we hand out to people and uh, awesome. it's colorful on the front, but it answers the questions of who is God, who is man, who is Jesus, and what is our response? You get those four right, then you have the gospel right. right and yeah. so, um, you know, who, who is God? God is holy. God is just. God is yeah. the creator. Who is man? Man is made in God's image, but we've sinned. And we and the penalty for sin is death. Who is Jesus? Since we couldn't get up to God, God came down to us. He is God. He's the God man. He is God in the flesh, took on flesh, lived a sinless life that we could never live. He was crucified on a cross. He was buried and three days later rose again, defeating sin, conquering death on the cross. And then how, how do we appropriate this salvation if he died in our place? Uh, how can we be saved? The Bible says we have to repent or turn, yep. and we need to believe in who Jesus is and what he did. We need to submit to his lordship. And if we do that, it's not by our works. It's by the work of Christ. It's already done. And if we do that, we we can be saved. And so we, we started going out and just sharing the gospel. That's great. We, we, we've, we've handed out, we've handed out nearly 20,000 of these. Awesome. In the last year and a half, um, we have had uh, thousands of conversations with people where I walk them through the gospel. Uh, my son goes out with me and we uh, wow. and we just share the gospel in in towns. We, we had the opportunity to go to England back in uh, September and October, and uh, we preached and had many conversations in a lot of different towns around London. It was just a, a wonderful time. And we believe God's going to continue to open doors. We're praying for that, for us to go to even other countries or uh, just expand here in this area. Uh, so we're out four days a week preaching the gospel. And then That's we, uh, and then we sing on the weekends. So this song finish strong has been kind of, uh, I, I don't know, I guess kind of a rallying cry, uh, kind of a theme song recently you know sure so, yeah so that's uh that's finished strong yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and uh and and in your video you uh you uh you you have your yourselves you know, uh, 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 uh um appreciating the gospel which is pretty awesome you know? Yeah, I, yeah. We just we took just a bunch of uh, pictures uh, of us doing evangelism and just kind of strung them together and made a a video for that. Uh, I encourage everybody to go on YouTube. It's uh, my channel is just Bill Itzel, and uh, and check that out. And uh, oh. yeah, and if anybody's interested uh, in uh, partnering with us, we do evangelism training. Uh, where we go into churches and we uh, we teach you not only what the gospel is, but how to share the gospel. And then we go and we take that gospel uh, and we go with you out on the street and uh, oh. and preach the gospel. And we and we we show you how to do that. So we did that in England. We, we trained uh, three young guys awesome. to uh, continue awesome. the work after we left. So awesome. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've uh, done the street m m ministries also. It's pretty Wonderful. cool. You know, you know, you know. Okay. It is. It's, yeah. it's yeah. the front lines. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And and uh, 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 during the, the last couple summers, we've been giving out tracks and playing at parks. Good. Wonderful. 
No, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We've yeah. had the opportunity to go to a couple of uh, to to go to Ocean City, uh, three three years in a row, uh, oh. where we preach on the boardwalk. Cool, awesome. Now that's interesting. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the uh, newest track that we have is like these. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and and and, and it has uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so pretty cool. Yeah, anything that points people to Christ. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, definitely God cares, you know, uh, 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 about our souls and about our salvation since uh, He made us, and right. and, and, and 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 that's the reason why we're here on Earth to get to know God, you know, yeah. you know. Oh, right. Yeah. So. Yeah. We give uh, we yes. give the gospel right. because we know God's people are out there. Yeah. And uh, and the way that they come to Christ is through the preaching of the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. And so that's what we do. We we give them the word of Christ. It's not our words. It's not our ability to debate, um, or try to uh, convince or guilt anyone in. Uh, that's the work of the Holy Spirit. We just uh, we we preach the word. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, that should be like an everyday thing, you know, sharing God's word, you know. Yeah. So, Amen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. the time is short. Yep, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the, even the word God says we should number our days, you know. Yeah. You know? Well, God has numbered our days. He knows. Yep. <laughs> Exactly. He, knows, yeah. he knows how long we have. We don't, but, uh, yeah. but he does. Yeah. And so we use use every opportunity to be a witness that, that we can. That's uh, that's all that matters. Only what's done for Christ will last. Exactly. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. What hay, hay and stubble, you know, yeah, and uh, and uh, as strong as is Christ, you know. So. Well, that's, I mean, that, that was one of the reasons... That was one of the encouraging things about that 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 last song, uh, "Finish Strong," was that uh, you know even though we were in full time ministry, going on mission trips, I'm like sure. you know there's a lot in my life, just you know that was just wood, hay, and stubble, right, you know exactly. that, that I know is going to be burned up at the end of time. Yep. yep. And I'm like I you know I, I've wasted a lot of it, but I want I want to finish strong, so I want to utilize every minute i can i mean you know I, I get enough rest you know but i that was it was yeah. probably getting too much <laughs> yeah yeah you know and yeah. and it's easy to slip into that uh sure. you know especially honestly especially in the music business because you're you're kind of hurry up and hurry up and hurry up and then you you do your thing and then there's a lot of downtime you know sure. you're either going 10 or you're going zero you know yeah, yeah. and uh i wanted you know I, I didn't want that much zero time i needed more more time giving the gospel and the Lord opened these doors for we're going to continue to go. That's great. That's great. Yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, how can we contact you? Well, uh, the best way, easiest way is through our website. Uh, it's itzelmusic.com. That's easy. I T Z E L music.com. Uh, that's for everything. Yeah. Everything's right there on the front page. Um, you can contact us. There's even a page called Promoter Page. If you're a church that would be interested in having the Itzels, we are uh, not only theological and we are professional, but we're also affordable. And that is uh, that that's a big thing. We we understand that. Uh, and uh, we sing for big churches, little churches of all denominations. Uh, we we come, we we sing the word, uh, we encourage, and uh, we you know lead in good theological worship. And uh, we do have a lot of open dates in 2023, some Sunday mornings, Sunday nights, uh, weeknights, Saturday nights. So um, go to that promoter page. There's a list of Sunday dates that are open. Uh, and there's also our contact information, uh, Bill Itzel at Comcast.net is a great way to get in touch with me through email. Uh, honestly, that's the best way because I never have my phone with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, some people, you know, have it glued like their hand is like this. Oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. It's just frozen in there because they got the, the phone in there all the time. I uh, I barely ever have my phone. Uh, you can call and leave a message. The number's on the website, but uh, email is the best way to get in touch with me. 
but uh, but definitely check out the uh, the website's got our music on there music videos uh some live concerts on there as well um some bible studies there's uh you know our our doctrinal statement everything is on there so awesome 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 yeah 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 and you and, and, and you can pretty much get your your music at the, at the, a lot of the streaming services and things like we that. do um we, we uh if you want cds uh, uh you can uh, come to one of our concerts if we're nearby that's the best place um we also do have uh, our cds available on the website um we have something called the library it is a flash drive that has oh. every single song we have ever recorded. It's 506 songs now. Wow. Uh, so we have those on the website. Uh, but if you're into streaming, it, it's 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 funny because when we when we first started this ministry, uh, when I went with the Spears, they had cassettes and they had records. We actually wow. had records. Now, records have come back full circle. Yes, but, yes. Uh, but we... <laughs> But we had we we moved. I remember from cassettes to CDs, and now we have so many of our of the people who of our friends who who don't even have CD players. Like cars aren't having CD sure. players. Computers don't have the CD player drive. So everything's uh, download. So if you have that, uh, we're on iTunes. Um, the Itzels is the name. Okay. Uh, we're on Spotify. We're on all the all the streaming services. So. Yeah, you can get it that way. Amazon, I think, carries some of our stuff. So, but yeah, that's. Uh, but if you want it all, the best way to get that is through the library. Cool, so, awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. Uh, great, great, great. So, uh, so you do concerts. So, what are your concerts look like? Well, uh, um, like I say, we've uh, it 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 varies <laughs> from year to year, from tour to tour, from album to album. Uh, sure. uh, unlike most groups that have one style that they've been their entire existence, uh, we change and we we vary from from year to year. But for the most part, uh, it's going to be uh, some scripture reading, some encouragement, but it's going to be mostly music, a lot of music, um, a lot of different styles of music uh if you're if you don't like this song hold on three minutes and and we'll do something you do like so <laughs> awesome uh so so yeah it, but it's um it, it's very uh very worship oriented there's there's a lot of congregational singing i figured out how to work powerpoint now so <laughs> i'm very i'm, I'm not te technologically advanced in any way but uh, we do have a PowerPoint that we tie into churches. And so there are lyrics at most, most every venue that you can sing along. And we want people to worship. We sure. want people to sing good theological songs. Uh, in fact, on our website, we even have uh, a lot of sheet music okay. for praise teams to, uh, to uh, download for free, uh, to use any of our songs uh, in, their, in their worship services. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very uplifting, very encouraging, um, very theological, uh, and and very audience uh, oriented as far as uh, worship goes. Awesome, awesome. So, what's ahead for for you? Well, <clears throat> I uh, <laughs> if the last two years are any indication, I have no idea. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, I mean, right. None of us knew two years exactly. ago that we were going to be where we are. Um, but uh, the the plans we have and we're moving forward with, and then if God wants to change them, we'll we'll change them. Sure. Uh, is to continue uh, to tour through this year. Um, there may be an opportunity for us to go back to Europe. Uh, we're praying that that door opens. Uh, if not, there might be an opening to Ecuador uh we th there's a possibility there or uh god may open up another door i know we're going to go back to ocean city this year um okay. and we're going to continue to preach uh we are coming out with a new cd uh um interestingly enough the first single from that is going to be called the time is short so, okay. awesome. <laughs> so very very fitting uh yes. but that's going to be um that that'll be released early march so we are currently about 50 50 60% finished on that so oh. um 
so we need to finish that up um and then probably end of the year beginning of 2024 we plan on having another cd and then maybe a christmas cd end of mid mid 2024 so uh recording wise that's sort of what we uh what, what we have uh you know uh looking forward to um but yeah i we're just going to go where god leads us uh we are always trying to find new venues for preaching the gospel on the streets um new people to work with new churches to work with um yeah, we uh, I mean, we we do have several open dates and would love to fill out our calendar. Uh, we're very involved in our home church, and so one thing I do want to do is I want to continue to grow. Uh, you know, to be more like Christ. Uh, every single year, we our church has a uh, seminary that uh, my son and I uh, have had the opportunity to be a part of uh taking classes so we're going to start old testament survey in a few weeks so that's going to be something else uh, that is uh that i'm really really looking forward to but every I, honestly at this point everything in our life is geared toward our church our family and our ministry uh everything else uh really falls to the uh, periphery um I just you know I need to prioritize those things because those are the things that matter. So so we will continue to preach, we'll continue to sing, we'll continue to learn and study, and uh, continue to worship the Lord. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So do you have any advice for other performers? Uh okay. <clears throat> um, I would say. Uh, from a musical standpoint, uh, continue to practice. Uh, um, on the one hand, uh, practice makes perfect. So you want to practice and practice and practice. Uh, every chance you get, there is no venue too small for you to, you know, do what you do, practice. But also practice makes permanent. Mm -hmm. So you want to do it right. Sure. Uh, you want to hone your craft and become better and better uh, vocally. You want to, uh, you know, learn how to how to sing and not damage your voice, you know, uh, to to be better. If you're playing instrument, you want to get better. You want to continue sure. to to you know, and, and, and you'll grow in that as time goes. And practice is a, is a big part of that. But make sure you're doing it right. But even more important than that, I would say the most important thing you could do is be in God's word, uh, not only yourself and your family, but your uh, make sure you're in a church that is, uh, is solid in their theology and is preaching the word, not just preach from the word. One good, uh, one good way to uh, to find that is do. Is there a lot of topical preaching at your church, or are you preaching verse by verse through books of the Bible? If you're preaching verse by verse through books of the Bible, it's very difficult to not get the whole counsel of God. Sure. You know, um, on, honestly, obviously, there are times when you have to. Uh, you know, things happen in this world that that a pastor needs to uh, encourage and inform their congregation the biblical way to work through it, whether it's uh, something like 9-11, something like COVID, uh, even even some some things that are going on in, in our world. You know, the, this whole wokeness thing, this whole uh, uh, critical race theory, intersectionality type thing, you know, you you need to, you know, teach your congregation what the Bible has to say about that. But the Bible has to be front and center in your singing, in your preaching, in your praying. It needs to be a church that is all about the Bible. Yeah. Uh, not all about programs, but all about discipling with God's word. And, uh, and make sure you're in one of those churches and make sure you are growing because God can use 
an average talent that is wholly devoted to him. Mm -hmm. Much more than he can use a fantastic talent that is only devoted to yourself. Sure. Yeah. So uh, yeah. it's, it's more important for you to be right spiritually, for you to be strong spiritually, because people are going to be, uh, whether you like it or not, listening to you and looking to you for for truth. Sure. Uh, in so make sure the songs you're singing are truth. You know, yeah. the only way you would know that is to know the word of God. It's kind of like a you know a counterfeit, you know, dollar bill. You know, sure. hundred dollar bill. You got to know what the real one looks like in order to know what the counterfeit that that the one is that's counterfeit. So sure. you need to know the word of God. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's. Uh, now, as far as the industry goes, I've been out of the industry so far uh, for so long. <laughs> right. We we do a real good job of just flying under the radar, you know, um, enough that some people you know, know us and book us for concerts, but uh, radio it really won't touch us. They don't uh, they don't follow us much, uh, which is OK. I don't I don't need that. I don't you know, I, I don't see what we're doing as a stepping stone to anything. Um, it's more that we're just, uh, plugging along, teaching people the truth. Uh, uh we don't need to sing for th thousands and thousands of people. Some places we sing, there's only 20 people, you sure. know, and, uh, so, now some places we sing are, are much bigger, but, uh, but God uses all of that because, uh, it's not an outcome based ministry. It's a, a faithfulness. Yep. And and obviously being being on the streets, you, you would learn that because if you're sure. if you're judging your success by the number of people who bow the knee and come to Christ on the streets, uh, you're going to be very, very disappointed very, very quickly. You know, yeah. Noah would have never built the ark if he was looking for, you know, uh, if, if he was only encouraged by souls being right. saved because he right. had, you know, big goose egg, you know, at the yeah. end of the day. And, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, Noah was preaching God's word for a long time, even before yeah. he, he 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 built the ark. You know, warning, yeah. warning them. You know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. One hundred twenty years, and had had zero converts. Right. Yep. 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 Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. but he was faithful, and yeah, yeah, exactly. You know. Yeah. And that's, and, and, and that is how we, you know, how we, we look at it. We, we plant the seed, uh, whether it's in our preaching or in our, uh, in our singing, we water, but it's God who brings the increase and that's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. his soil. You know, we're just out there throwing out the, <laughs> the seed. That's all we do. Exactly. We're just vessels for him. That's it. You know? Yeah. Praise God. So. Uh, yeah, I would like to thank you for coming on, Bill. It was my pleasure. Oh, um, it, was, it was my joy to be here and, yeah. and share this time with you, Steve, and I really appreciate it. And anytime, uh, you know, we'd love to visit with you again. Sure, 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 sure. Any last words? Um, well, yeah, just, uh, yeah. Uh, if you, if you think your church would, after listening to the videos, you think your church would be interested in having the Itzels, uh, go to our website, itzelmusic.com and, uh, and have your pastor or worship leader contact us. And we'd love to be, uh, have some time of worship with you this year. Certainly, 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 certainly. And, uh, and, and thank you for coming out and, uh, and uh, and uh, and happy new year and you know and god bless you and and we'll be looking forward to your 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 new cd and 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 awesome. and, and hopefully you know we can get some uh some 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 more more dates booked you know and maybe see you over in ocean city that'd be awesome that'd be awesome yeah. yes, yes, yes yes so god bless you thank you so much Stephen. god bless yep. you and Bye. Goodbye.